Did you know that the first country to welcome the new year isn't the one you might expect? It's not Australia, where Sydney's Harbour Bridge dazzles with fireworks. Nor is it New Zealand, even though it's situated far in the Southern Hemisphere. In fact, it's a small island nation in the Pacific Ocean, Kiribati. Its location, straddling the international date line, makes it the first place to ring in the new year. From this tiny nation, our journey takes us across the globe, exploring the rich tapestry of traditions and celebrations that mark the passage from one year to the next. Each culture, each country, has its unique way of bidding farewell to the old year and ushering in the new one, creating a vibrant mosaic of human experience. We will journey through the spectacular firework displays that light up the skies, from the iconic Times Square ball drop in New York City to the incredible pyrotechnics over the Thames in London. We'll explore how these dazzling spectacles have become synonymous with New Year's Eve, a symbol of hope and renewal. We will also delve into some specific customs and rituals observed around the world. From the ringing of bells in Japan, a practice dating back centuries, to the smashing of plates in Denmark, a tradition signifying friendship and brotherhood, we'll see how each culture adds its unique flavor to the global New Year's celebration. We'll also examine the history and significance of New Year's resolutions, a tradition that spans cultures and time. Why do we make them? What do they signify? And why do they play such a central role in our New Year's traditions? Finally, we'll whet your appetite with a look at the festive foods enjoyed around the world. From Spain's 12 Grapes of Luck to Japan's Toshikoshi Soba, we'll explore how food plays a crucial role in welcoming good fortune for the year ahead. So, buckle up as we embark on this exciting journey, exploring New Year's celebrations around the world. What's New Year's Eve without a sky full of fireworks? As the clock ticks towards midnight, the anticipation builds. The atmosphere is charged with excitement and then, as the clock strikes 12, the sky explodes in a symphony of light and colour. Fireworks have become synonymous with New Year's Eve celebrations, a tradition that brightens the night sky and fills hearts with hope for the year to come. But have you ever wondered why we celebrate with fireworks? The history of these pyrotechnic displays dates back to ancient times. Fireworks were invented in China during the 7th century to ward off evil spirits and bring luck and prosperity. Over the centuries, these vibrant displays have become a cornerstone of celebrations worldwide, especially as we usher in a new year. As we journey across the globe, we see that each country adds its unique touch to this fiery tradition. In Sydney, Australia, the harbour becomes a dazzling stage for one of the world's most spectacular firework displays. The Sydney Harbour Bridge and Opera House are bathed in a riot of colours, reflected in the waters below. Then, there's the iconic Copacabana Beach in Brazil, where millions gather each year to witness a pyrotechnic spectacle that illuminates the night sky. The rhythmic samba beats merge with the crackling of fireworks, creating a sensory feast of sound and sight. In London, the River Thames serves as a backdrop for a mesmerising light show that paints the English sky. The fireworks, bursting in harmony with the chimes of Big Ben, create a spectacle that leaves spectators spellbound. And who can forget the breathtaking display in Dubai, where the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, serves as a canvas for a spectacular firework and light show. The display is a captivating fusion of technology and tradition, a testament to the city's futuristic vision. As we bid farewell to the old year, fireworks light up the sky, ushering in the new year with a bang. This tradition, steeped in history and carried forward by different cultures, serves as a beacon of hope, a promise of a new beginning, a spectacle that unites us in celebration as we step into the future. From the ringing of bells in Japan to the smashing of plates in Denmark, New Year's celebrations are as diverse as they are unique. Immerse yourself in the rhythmic resonance of Japan, where New Year's Eve, or Omisoka, is marked by the tolling of temple bells. This tradition, known as Joya no Kane, sees the bells rung a total of 108 times. But why such a specific number, you ask? Well, it's believed in Buddhism that humans have 108 earthly desires, or Bono, and each ring of the bell symbolizes the cleansing of these desires, helping to usher in a year of spiritual clarity and peace. This sound, echoing through the wintry night, is a solemn reminder of the year that has passed and the fresh one that's just on the horizon. Now let's journey to the picturesque country of Denmark. 
Here, New Year's Eve is anything but quiet. The Danes have a rather unique tradition of smashing plates against the doors of family and friends. You heard that right, smashing plates? It's a tradition steeped in camaraderie and affection, where the more broken dishes you find on your doorstep, the more loved you are. The shattering ceramics not only drive away evil spirits, but also demonstrate the strength of friendships as we step into the new year. As we traverse the globe, we encounter more fascinating traditions. In Spain, as the clock strikes midnight, people swiftly consume 12 grapes, each representing good luck for the 12 months ahead. Over in Brazil, people head to the beach and leap over seven waves, while making seven wishes for the coming year. Meanwhile, in Scotland, the first footing tradition has the first visitor of the new year bring a gift for good luck. And lastly, let's not forget the grandeur of the United States Times Square ball drop, a spectacle watched by millions around the world. This tradition began in the early 20th century and has since evolved into a global symbol of welcoming the new year. Each of these traditions, while unique in their own right, share a common thread. They all encapsulate the human hope for a better, prosperous and peaceful year ahead. They remind us that despite our geographical and cultural differences, we all celebrate the dawn of a new year with joy, hope and a sense of renewal. These traditions, steeped in history and culture, add a unique touch to the global New Year's celebrations. So the next time you ring in the New Year, remember, you're not just celebrating a change in the calendar, but also participating in a rich tapestry of global traditions that span centuries and continents. As the New Year begins, so does the tradition of making resolutions. For many of us, the dawn of a new year signifies a fresh start, a clean slate, an opportunity to set goals and make changes. This tradition, as universal as it may seem, actually dates back thousands of years. Ancient Babylonians, over 4,000 years ago, were known to make promises to their gods at the start of each year to return borrowed objects and pay off debts, arguably the first instances of New Year's resolutions. Later, in ancient Rome, Julius Caesar established January 1st as the beginning of the new year, named after Janus, the god of beginnings and transitions. Romans would make sacrifices and promises of good conduct for the coming year as a tribute to this deity. Fast forward to today, and the tradition of making New Year's resolutions has evolved, yet the essence remains the same. It's about self-improvement, growth, and setting goals. Popular modern-day resolutions include improving physical health with commitments to diet and exercise, enhancing mental well-being by adopting stress reduction techniques or learning new skills, and strengthening relationships. However, it's a well-known fact that many of these resolutions fall by the wayside as the year progresses. According to studies, only about 8% of people actually stick to their resolutions. But don't let that discourage you. The key to successful resolutions lies in setting realistic and achievable goals. Instead of lofty ambitions, focus on small incremental changes that can lead to significant improvements over time. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. While New Year's resolutions may have a reputation for being notoriously hard to keep, they certainly embody the spirit of optimism and hope that the New Year brings. They allow us to reflect on the past, plan for the future, and strive to become better versions of ourselves. Whether it's getting fit or learning a new skill, resolutions offer a fresh start as we step into the New Year. Did you know that eating 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve is a tradition in Spain for good luck? It's not just about the popping of champagne corks or the clinking of glasses. Food is an integral part of New Year's celebrations around the globe, carrying a wealth of symbolism and tradition. Let's embark on a culinary journey and explore some of the world's most fascinating and flavorful New Year's customs. We start in Spain, where each of the 12 grapes represents good luck for one month of the coming year. It's a race against the clock to eat all 12 before the last stroke of midnight. In Japan, families gather to enjoy Toshikoshi Soba buckwheat noodles, which symbolize longevity and prosperity. The long slender noodles are a metaphor for a long and healthy life, and it's considered important to slurp them without breaking. Meanwhile, in the Netherlands, the new year is greeted with oliebollen, or oil balls. These sweet, donut-like treats, dusted with powdered sugar, are thought to bring good fortune. They originated as a protective food against evil spirits during the Yule, the ancient Germanic midwinter festival. Over in the USA, particularly in the southern states, 
A traditional New Year's dish is Hoppin' John, a hearty concoction of black-eyed peas, rice and pork. The peas represent coins, and a leafy green vegetable served alongside symbolises paper money, together wishing for prosperity in the new year. Let's not forget Greece, where a special New Year's bread called Vasilopita is baked with a hidden coin inside. When the bread is cut and served, the person who finds the coin in their slice is said to be blessed with good luck for the year ahead. In Italy, lenticchie e cottacino, lentils with sausage, is a New Year's staple. The round lentils are thought to resemble coins, and consuming them is believed to bring wealth and prosperity in the coming year. In Denmark, a towering cone-shaped cake known as kransakao is eaten at the stroke of midnight. This marzipan wonder, often decorated with flags and firecrackers, is a sweet start to the new year. From Brazil to Russia, Germany to China, each country has its unique culinary traditions to welcome the new year, a testament to the rich diversity of global cultures. These foods, steeped in symbolism, are not just about satisfying our taste buds, but also about bringing good luck, prosperity and happiness. So this New Year's Eve, whether you're eating 12 grapes at the stroke of midnight, slurping long noodles, or finding a hidden coin in your bread, remember that you're part of a centuries-old tradition of welcoming the new year with hope and joy. From sweet treats to hearty meals, these festive foods add a delicious touch to New Year's celebrations. Despite the differences in traditions and customs, the spirit of New Year's celebrations is universal. As we've journeyed around the world, we've seen the vibrant tapestry of history, culture, and individuality that paints each New Year's celebration with its unique hues. From the first countries to herald in the New Year due to time zones, we've seen how the globe lights up step by step in a symphony of fireworks and pyrotechnic wonders. Each burst of light, each sparkle, is a testament to the joy and hope that the New Year brings, bridging the gap between the old and the new. We've traversed the cultural landscape, from the ringing of bells in Japan, echoing the passage of time and the arrival of a fresh start, to the smashing of plates in Denmark, shattering the past and making way for new beginnings. Each custom, each tradition, is a thread in the intricate fabric of global New Year's celebrations. We've explored the history of New Year's resolutions, a practice that transcends borders, uniting us in our shared aspirations for growth, change and improvement. It's a testament to our collective will to look forward, to set goals, and to strive for a better tomorrow. And who could forget the festive foods, the delicious dishes and lucky foods consumed around the world to usher in good fortune for the new year? From grapes in Spain to lentils in Italy, each morsel is a taste of tradition, a bite of belief, and a mouthful of hope for the future. In essence, despite our many differences, New Year's celebrations highlight our shared humanity. They remind us of the joy and renewal, the excitement of starting anew, and the universal hope for a brighter tomorrow. As we welcome the new year, let's celebrate the diversity and unity that makes this occasion so special. Here's to a fantastic year ahead. Thank you for joining us on this global journey of New Year's celebrations. We've traveled through time zones, witnessed the magic of fireworks, delved into cultural traditions, and tasted festive foods that promise good fortune. But the journey doesn't end here. There's a world of New Year's traditions out there, and we'd love to hear about your personal experiences. Do you have a unique tradition you'd like to share? How do you and your loved ones ring in the new year? Let's broaden our horizons and learn from each other in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and family, so they too can embark on this fascinating exploration Stay tuned for more fascinating journeys into the cultures and traditions of our world. Until next time, Happy New Year!